Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the process for taking a state civil service exam? To take a state civil service exam, you need to follow a series of steps carefully. Here's a detailed breakdown of the process. Step one, meet the minimum qualifications. Ensure you meet the minimum qualifications for the job you are applying for. This includes having the required education, experience, and skills specified in the job announcement. Step two, fill out the application. Complete the standard state application form by the final filing date. You can obtain the exam announcement and application form from the State Personnel Board or the Employment Development Department. Applications can also be found online. Step three, register for the exam. Register for the exam ahead of time. You will receive an announcement that your application was accepted along with the date of the written test, if applicable. Step four, prepare for the written exam. Study the scope of the exam as specified in the examination announcement. The exam will test your relevant skills and knowledge for the job. Step five, take the written exam. Attend the written examination on the scheduled date. The exam format varies, but often includes multiple choice questions, verbal, clerical, and mathematical tests. Step six, receive exam results. After taking the written exam, you will receive your results. If you pass, you will proceed to the next stage. Step seven, oral examination, if applicable. If required, you will be scheduled for an oral examination. Prepare by studying the scope of the exam and be ready to present your answers to a committee. Step eight, qualifications appraisal interview. Some positions may require a qualifications appraisal interview where you will be evaluated based on your past education and work experience. Step nine, performance or job simulation tests if applicable. You might need to take performance or job simulation tests to demonstrate your skills in relation to the job. Examples include typing tests or other job specific tasks. Step 10, create an eligibility list. Once you have taken all required tests, you will be placed on an eligibility list based on your test score. Candidates with higher scores are ranked higher on the list. Step 11, interview and job offer. Hiring agencies will review the top candidates on the eligibility list and may call them for interviews. If selected, you will receive a job offer and begin a probationary period before becoming a permanent employee. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.